Hey there! Thank you for watching my video uh, presenting my favorite makeup products of all time. I'll show you the Givenchy powder, the Hourglass powders, the Le Beige Cushion Foundation and many other things. I hope you'll enjoy and stay for more. I'm starting off with my Le Beige uh, Illuminator in Pearly Glow as acting as a primer. You can see it gets quite a nice sheen. It's a little bit too much, but the foundation will fix that. I'm using my cushion foundation from Le Beige from Chanel in the shade B12. Next I'm using my concealer from Urban Decay, the Stay Naked Concealer in shades 20 CP, which is a little dark, so I mixed in a white and I'm testing out a new eyeshadow brush to mix out the concealer. With the combination of the 20 CP and the white from a Revolution, um, I can highlight the face nicely and cover all my uh, dents in my face. <laughs> You can see it gives quite nice coverage together. And you can see the shine from the illumination uh, fluid from Chanel through all the concealer and uh, foundation. Next I'm using my favorite powder which is from Givenchy in Voile Rosé. Um, I used the little cushion that comes with it even though it's a little gimmicky but I like it. It distributes a nice amount of powder and I don't have to mess with the powder in the cap. This might be my favorite product of all time, the Ambient Ghost Palette by Hourglass. It features six nice powders, including blushes, bronzer, highlighter, and finishing powder. I'm first using the bronzer, which is a little dark for me, but for most people it's pretty light, I suppose. But for me it's okay. I do like the tone of it. It's not too red, not too orange, not too cool tone. So it doesn't really sculpt my face, but still gives some dimension. And I like the sheen that it has. You can see it really helps define the face. Next I'm using the Sisley uh, blush in Vito Twist in the shade Petal. I just draw this directly on the face and then usually blend it out with my finger but this time I'm using a sponge to see if that also works. It does take a lot longer so next time I'll probably use my fingers again. The shade is very pretty though, very pink and, and lovely. <laughs> I'm using my favorite mermaid brush to uh, set the blush from Sisley with the blush um, from the Ghost palette from Hourglass. I'm using the pinky peachy shade. This one gives a nice shine and adds on to the other blush nicely. I'm using a new highlighter today uh, in Prismatic Amethyst by Becca. I know everyone already raved about this years ago, but it was my first time using a Becca highlighter. And I have to say, I like it quite a lot. It is a little powdery though, so you have to be careful when using it around the eyes, like I'm doing later. But still, as a highlighter, it's very pretty. And it's not that common to find a rosy purple highlighter. So I was very happy with it. Here's a little close-up of the sheen I've collected so far. I'm using my Real Techniques Buffer Brush and the uh, 
uh, finishing powder, the light one from the hourglass palette to set everything and to give everything a nice equal sheen. This tones down the highlighter a little bit, but it, it does add its own sheen, so it is nice. With the, sh with the slightly darker finishing powder, I'm setting the bronzer and the blush, so they don't disappear too much with the white powder. Next, it's time for my favorite thing of the day, my Tom Ford palette in Pretty Baby. This was quite the expensive palette, but it is so pretty. It features my favorite shade of all time, this purple blue duochrome. I'm starting off with the brown in the crease. These shadows blend out very easily, but I do build them up slowly to not make them as patchy. Not that they are, but still, I didn't set my eyes before. Uh, applying the eyeshadow so that's always wise. I'm deepening it up with the darker brown. I'm also adding it to the outer corner of the lid and a little bit more in the crease and also underneath my eyes. Of course I'm blending everything out, but really it doesn't need to be blended that much anymore. You can see the shadows perform very nicely. Now I'm going in with my finger with my favorite shade and I'm adding this all over the lid, but especially in the inner part of the lid. The camera doesn't do justice just how pretty this shade is, but you can see the duochrome shine in it. I'm adding a second layer but that's really not necessary, I think. <laughs> I'm also adding a bit of the Becca highlighter in the inner corner. And as I said, you have to be careful with this because I got some powder in my eyes. <laughs> I'm also highlighting underneath the brows. Next, I'm setting the face with my MAC setting spray, trying to fix in uh, rows. Next up is the brows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe and the Dior Brow Gel in blonde. I use a slightly lighter brow gel because they can be very dark and very stark if you use a too dark one. So I use a slightly darker uh, brow pencil to draw the individual hairs and then I use the slightly lighter brow gel to cover everything up after that. The brow gel from Dior is very nice. I didn't expect a high-end or even luxury brand to have such a nice brow gel because it's very editorial and that's not really the purpose of Dior. But this uh, brow gel really locks everything in place all day. Usually I just wear it on its own, it's that good. I made a little mistake with the brow gel. That doesn't usually happen, but I think I was a little nervous here. <laughs> Nothing that can't be fixed by uh, fading it out a little bit with my finger. <laughs> I'm using the Lancome Stilo uh, Long Tenue in Violet Eternel to add some liner to my lower lash line, my waterline and to tight line. To tight line it's not ideal, but it is a nice color with the Pretty Baby palette, so I'll deal with it. <laughs> I'm using the Essence What The Fake Mascara, which is one of the only, one of the few uh, not high-end products in this video I'm noticing now. That's not on purpose, I really love cheap products as well. It's just that my favorites are usually in nice packaging as well. 
This mascara is very lovely. It does take a lot of time to build, as you can see here. And you have to put coat on coat, but then the effect is very nice. It really does give long, um, distinguished lashes, quite like fake lashes, so the name is very appropriate. Finally, it's time for the, for the lip products. I'm using a combination from, with the Becca lip liner, the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the Matte Revolution formula, and a Shiseido lip gloss, which has nice sparkly bits in it. This combination is nice and bright, but somehow manages to fit in with any type of eyeshadow and makeup look. It's really quite genius. I'm using the uh, lip liner in the shade uh, confident, the Revolution lipstick in the shape. The lip liner does uh, is very brittle, so it does break off very easily. Um, I suppose I wasn't used to that yet, <laughs> but now I am, and you have to roll it out just a very little bit, and then it's fine. But otherwise, little bits are flying everywhere. I'm blending it out with my finger so the line isn't that stark, but the lipstick does match the lip liner pretty well, so you don't have to worry about that too much. This lipstick is very pretty on its own, and I really love the effect the Matte Revolution lipsticks give. They're very dry and velvety without looking dry or feeling dry. Um, they're the best of both worlds, I suppose. But for the sake of this video, I thought I'd try adding my favorite gloss on top, and, and that's also very pretty. So I'm not mad about it, but it wasn't necessary in my opinion. And there you have it. It's my favorite makeup look with my favorite products. <laughs> I never used these all together, but I really like the effect they all give. It's very angelic and pretty. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Maybe subscribe? <laughs> Goodbye.